everybody, I really like the Simon and Garfunkel song, Mrs. Robinson. Especially since I found out that originally the song wasn't called Mrs. Robinson, but Mrs. Roosevelt. And after I found that out, I had another look at the lyrics and I realized with uh, Mrs. Roosevelt, the song makes a lot more sense than um, with uh, Mrs. Robinson. The, the lyrics make a lot more sense. But sadly, nobody sings the song with uh, Mrs. Roosevelt. Now, of course, the reason it was originally called Mrs. Roosevelt instead of Mrs. Robinson was because, um, well, there are some rumors, and especially back then, there were some rumors that, uh, I don't know if they're true or false, um, that Mrs. Roosevelt um, might have had some uh, communist... Uh, affiliations and of course those rumors especially uh, uh, you know sprung up uh, uh, during the 50s uh, when there was like this this bad scare in the US so I don't know if the rumors are true or false uh, but the, the bottom line is the lyrics make a lot more sense with Mrs. Roosevelt instead of Mrs. Robinson and um, but and, and, and there is definitely, you know, the, if you really look at the lyrics, there is definitely some, uh, how shall I put this, some, some underlying tone there. <laughs> and, but it's, it's a little subtle. Actually, it's not. But uh, it's, the, the song still sounds flattering on the surface. So uh, a lot of people who, who know that, the song was originally called Mrs. Roosevelt, uh, think that um, it, it was supposed to flatter Mrs. Roosevelt, you know, but, but uh, there is definitely some, some, some tongue-in-cheek, so to say. There's definitely an underlying tone there, you know. Anyway, um, but of course Mrs. Roosevelt is long dead and uh, doesn't really have uh, much relevance today so I I thought of another uh, <clears throat> well let's just say I, I, I came up with my own version of the song and again I just changed one word maybe you will uh, be able to recognize <laughs> which word that is though so I didn't call it Mrs. Roosevelt <laughs> I called it something else <laughs> <laughs> and I think it, it fits wonderfully. Of course, um, I can't really sing and I can't play the guitar. So I asked an acquaintance of mine to basically sing the song for me. His name is uh, Cesar and uh, he's from Venezuela. And uh, I think he did a, a really nice job and he incorporated... Uh, a lot of um, local instruments which gave it that uh, South American flair which I think is really nice and uh, which basically turned it into an en entirely different song in combination with my small alteration. Uh, so um, I hope you will enjoy the song and uh, yeah don't, don't take it too uh, serious if you um, well don't don't uh, see it as a political message well it kind of is but don't take it too seriously and uh, uh, don't be offended by it it's it's just uh, it's just a little fun <laughs> and um, if 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 you like uh, um, well if you like the sound of it um, Caesar has a uh, fiver um, a gig where he offers um, to play more songs in that style if you want him to so uh, check out my description uh, yeah 